So we're on stage and Down the Dock Road has been on stage for the past five, six nights. We're with Oliver, we're with Les. Um, how's it going, lads? Welcome to Liverpool, first of all. I know you've spent a lot of time here before. Mm -hmm. um, big long run now in the city. Yeah, it's brilliant. I've, I've done a couple of plays here before and I used to work in Hollyoaks and I've got family in the city, so I know it, I know it really well, but it's, I love working in Liverpool. And the audience here has been absolutely brilliant, hasn't brilliant. it? We're only in previews at the moment. We haven't officially opened, we haven't been reviewed yet, mm. but we've had standing ovations. We've had people coming up afterwards saying how moved they were by it. Last night, Monday night audience, I've never seen a Monday night audience like it. You know, normally <laughs> the beginning of the yeah. week, you expect a fairly, a fairly quiet audience, fairly, but they were small. Small <laughs> audience as well. <laughs> there's, there's a bar in the Royal Court. That <laughs> exactly. always helps it's as well. fantastic. Yeah. It does help, yeah. You've got yeah. someone here, though, that, that's obviously showing you the ropes in Liverpool. And, yeah. And that's Mr. Dennis. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is, I'm, I'm his dad in Corrie and I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm a granddad here and so kind of like um, surrogate father. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about that because obviously you're in Corrie together. Is, is that how this has come about that you're working together now or did someone make the call to the I, I had um, I talked to Alan Bleasdale about getting the rights for this play um, and got them and looked through the character list and said to um, Oliver, look, there's a, there's a part that might be right for you. Um, and he asked to read it and then said he wanted to do it. So that's how it all happened really. Tell us about the play less because obviously the Royal Court is, is quite famous for the big comedies and the, yeah. and the big scouse plays yeah. which you've been in yourself yeah. Th this is very different though this is a bit more serious it's funny it's still got the you know anything by Alan Bleasdale has that grit and that kind of social comment um, but also a lot of comedy you know Boys and the Black stuff you know even though it was dark and you know really moving it still had great comedy so we've got comedy in this but it is very much it's kind of like um, it's like Liverpool's um, On the Water front really because uh, it, 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 it's about the docks it's about the, the the kind of the end of the docks we're, we're set in 1976 the autumn of 1976 and so it is about what is happening then but you know people can relate to it now because not much has changed in a lot of ways you know kind of socially and, and not politically. only that but I think everyone in the city has kind of got a relative a granddad or, yeah, or whatever yeah, who, yeah. who were who were about then on the docks working hard and involved yeah. in the strikes mm -hmm. and everything else yeah yeah we we uh, in the interval there's a song called My granddad was a docker and you know so you, you, everybody I think people who come you know can relate to the characters to the humor to um, we you know all the dockers names you know of course are legendary they're in the program we've got all a list of all the dockers names um, um, so we all have nicknames within the within the piece, and uh, and it's but it's but it's so much about um, it's Granddad's last day. He's feeling a little bit anxious about leaving this job that he's been in for years. Uh, McKenna, played by the brilliant Drew Schofield, is the shop steward for the for for this ship. You know, for the for the for the guys, this gang, and um, it's really about um, what what that that he's going to leave you know, for them, isn't it? Mm. You know, kind of, um, and Dobbo is a, a lovely character to play, isn't he's, he? Yeah, he's a Scouse, a Scouse Lothario. So we've got the Scouse accent right on. Oh, he's I, I hope so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, oh, no, I can't. I can't. No, he, I can't. He, his, his dad, his mum and dad are from, from Liverpool. <laughs> my parents oh, are, oh, yeah, yeah, my parents are Scousers, so, uh, yeah, and I've got, I've got loads of family up uh, kind of Crosby way, um, Waterloo, Crosby area. So, uh, so I'm, I'm part basing this on my, on my granddad, who's, yeah. who's not with us anymore, but, oh. uh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. brilliant. And obviously Coronation Street, we've got, we've got to talk Corrie. Yeah. Um, have, you, have they given you a break to come out and do this and then go back? They've been really good, actually. They've been really accommodating and um, they've signed both of us off for a, a, yeah. a period of seven weeks. Yeah. Um, and, you know, they didn't have to do that. That was, um, you know, we, we asked for the time yeah. and they were very forthcoming in arranging it because, you know, obviously with schedules and things, we shoot so far in advance yeah. that it, you know, it's not easy to go. Oh, yeah, okay, you won't be in. And also, it has. They have to storyline it. They yeah. have to have a, a reason for you not to be on screen for that amount of time. Mm. Hence so, the reason that Phelan is about <clears throat> to um, kind of uh, send Michael away from Corrie. I mean, isn't yeah. he? Kind oh of, yeah. You know, gets, Ma Michael feels that he's got to go. My mum said to me last night. She said, "I can't watch Corrie this week." I said, "Why?" She said, "The Scouser. He's really annoying me." And I said, "Les, Les Dennis." She said, "Not Les, the other one." Do you, what's going on? Oh, Fe us. Phelan, he's played brilliant. by the brilliant Colin uh, Connor. Mac McIntyre mm. um, is is the villain of the piece. He's the, you know he's he's so brilliant as mm. as, as as this character Phelan that had a history in the show a couple of years ago with um, Anna and um, uh, lovely um, Owen the Owen, builder yeah. who's um, played by Ian Paulson Davis. Um, and so he's back now and um, he's uh, Michael is the only one that can tell that he's a bad one apart from mm. Anna. So um, he's got a brilliant yeah. way of manipulating people and and Connor does it so well. He's really 
couldn't be far, further removed in real life <laughs> from his character. But on screen, he's just got this yeah. brilliant mm. kind of smug charm and yeah. this way of, of twisting people. Well, and if he doesn't go them. soon, then he's lost my mum as a viewer. Well, well you know what? Good, so. uh, with the audience mm. here, are, in in a uh, this week they're coming. Um, Connor and Sue Cleaver, who plays Eileen, so they're going to people are going to be going. <laughs> <laughs> they're out together. <laughs> they're, they're, they're right in, in front of in Michael's face. They're, they're flaunting it. <laughs> I've got to ask you because I spoke to you a few weeks ago. I never asked you this, and I wanted to. Obviously, Corey, you got a lot of your impressions from some of the characters yes. on Coronation. Yeah, Mavis being here, one of the big ones. <laughs> yeah. What's it like now on the cobbles? Thinking this is where I kind of crafted my my impressions. Well, you know what was lovely? We did um, for the uh, Tech Santa telethon. We did um, a Back to the Future Coronation. Street, um, uh, and I got to reprise Mavis in the cabin because they went back to, to the time oh, yeah. that Mavis was still there. So I've got to say, I don't really know in the cabin, which is amazing. And, you know, I, I can't, I, I can't stop pinching myself the fact that you know I used to you know be a big fan and then you know became famous for for doing those impressions, and now here I am in Corey as well. You know, it's just it's it's wonderful. And does he ever do any of these impressions in the guest room upstairs, Oliver? I'm, I'm sure well, he does. Well, we do, we do, uh, we do say, well, should we try and get Les to do it? But then, no, no, we'll, 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 it's special occasions. Yeah, I think. Special occasions. Be, 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 we, we, we can't, can't stop have, laughing, you yeah. know, when we're oh, on yeah. set, you know, and uh, Tisha's the worst, isn't she? Yeah. Tisha, yeah, Les and who plays Tisha, Steph, plays Steph right. my girlfriend in the show. You get a scene with those two together and... You, it's it's game over. It's game over. They just yeah. have this way of just a little look or just some, and they're off. And, they're and, off. and they're you can tell because Les Les goes red and his shoulders start mm. going. Yeah. Mike, Mike has him. the oddest lines, you know. Like, and I said, I said to them, I said, if you've been in the scene that I've just been in, you wouldn't have stopped because you know. I, I think I said, sorry, I'm late. Um, I trod on a dead bird outside the kebab shop and I had to change my shoes. And so, just if I come out with a line like that, they just, yeah. it's too much. You, know, it's too you much. should just ask him to do a roasting because yeah. last time we had him on, he was roasting Pete Price. Which, um, I, I believe so. Yeah. I've heard all about this. It's yeah, interesting. Yeah. But yeah. Really good indeed. Listen, we'll see you on press night. And um, what time is the run until? Well, what time? What date is it until? We're here right through until the 9th of April. And uh, if you want to come and see it, you better get your tickets fast because it is selling. I mean, you, we are. We, we've got the balcony right to the back. It's fantastic mm -hmm. to have and this theatre so full. As well, the refair, but it looks fantastic. Yeah. It looks amazing. Yeah, Brilliant. yeah. Brilliant. I say this, the theatre so full. I mean, the, everything that in the last year or so, they've got the Midas touch here. They're really, you know, they know how to, to bring a show to the people. Mm -hmm. Plus, the Scouse is amazing. The yeah, lads downstairs the scouse, cook it. Your food's the got it. Yeah, the food is so brilliant. good. Oliver, thank you. Les, thank, thank you. you. Enjoy. Uh, down the Dock Road on at the Royal Court right now. Thanks, boys. Cheers. Cheers.